you've made it to Cairo Hustle Live. Sit back and learn from the greatest influencers in the profession. This week's episode is brought to you by Clothes for Cairo, Legacy Wealth Management, Posture Screen, Imaging Services, Zingit Solutions, Peter Goldman's Zone School of Healing, Everest Coaching Systems, Cairo Thin, Universal Tractioning Systems, Chiropractic Jobs Online, Rhino Coaching, Cairo Matchmakers, True Cairo, and the Social Health Experts Summit. Let's hustle. Hey, good morning, everybody, or afternoon, wherever you might be. Uh, this is Jim Chester. This is a special edition. This is on Chiropractic Rocks. Um, just want to give you guys a uh, preview of what Chiropractic Rocks is here shortly, but you don't want to miss this event, and you don't want to miss, miss what uh, Baron Hoig and I have to discuss today about Chiropractic Rocks. I'm going to flash the website up here um, on the screen so people can see that, Baron. So they know where to go register right away. So um, go to chiropracticrocks.us and go right on over there and register. Um, you don't want to have FOMO. If you guys want to know what that is, that's fear of missing out. So um, I know Dr. Adam Del Torto did something really amazing. He brought this uh, event together for all of us to come out to uh, March 28th through 30th in Reno, Nevada. Um, but uh, Baron, I almost called you doctor. You probably get that a lot too. <laughs> I do. Yeah, so, you know, it's going to be, uh, listen, the, the, the thing that I love about this particular event is that it, the purpose of it is to really celebrate what chiropractic has done for all of us. And, you know, when, when Adam started sharing with me, you know, what he wanted to do and that he's just titling it simply Chiropractic Rocks, but he wanted to do it from a different angle. You know, yes, it'll have CEs. Yes, it'll have some of that information. But the purpose, the core essence of this particular event was more about coming and celebrating what chiropractic has done for us, the, the philanthropy side of chiropractic, because no matter whether you're a million dollar clinic or you're a startup clinic, we all, if we're honest, can say chiropractic has brought so much amazing value to our own lives as well as our ability to connect with other people's lives that why not have an event that is solely for the purpose of celebrating that context and, and understanding when we come together the amazing things we can do. And, and what really tipped me off to the whole thing was that really, you know, a large portion of that amount of money that's generated is going back to schools that are teaching um, vitalistic mentalities of chiropractic. And it's going to research that's really expanding the business of what chiropractic can do, not just pain management, and not that those things are wrong, but we're missing that research that shows why chiropractic is so much more effective with earaches than, you know, getting your ear eardrums knocked out of your head. So I just love his vision and, and we're excited to be a part of it. Yeah, I, I know that there's a lot that goes into an event like this, like we were discussing off camera. Um, you have to get to events like this in order to build your network and in order to, uh, you know, be in the flow state of the knowledge. And I think that it's important, like you said, there are CEs involved. So if you guys need to get those those buggers, go get them. Um, but if you want to go there and just have fellowship and meet people, I know that's how uh, you and Adam came together from the from the original stances. He came to an event that you were at. You guys started networking. The next thing you know, now you have opportunities with each other. So uh, let's talk a little bit about how you guys met each other and uh, and why you're of such support for Dr. Adam with Chiropractic Rocks. Yeah, absolutely. Well, well Dr. Uh, Del Toro is, a, Del Toro is a, a contributor to our organization, One Chiropractic, and he came to a One Chiropractic meeting um, that we did in conjunction with um, CalJam last year. And uh, as we were sitting in that meeting and we were talking about the work we were doing, he started sharing with me this vision that he had of creating an event that was different than what else is out there in the market. I mean, you have state associations putting events on, you have your typical national events like Cal Jam or Parker, FCA National, those are some big national events, but those are still all really driven around the concept of, you know, those particular entities driving their particular movements, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But there wasn't an event that was just 100% given on coming together and celebrating the, the gifts that chiropractic has brought to us. And that's what really struck me about what Adam was doing. And it fits really well with what our vision is in One Chiropractic, which is to really make chiropractic the number one healthcare choice in the world and, and to think outside the box of how to get that done. So events like this are completely congruent with things that we're trying to do, which is heighten the consciousness of the chiropractor to get outside of their getting reimbursement and seeing more visits to what can we do to impact humanity? How can we really start telling the message of chiropractic 
in a way that it creates a magnetic movement in our own community, that people are starting to choose this as their mission. And, and we're getting some help in that. And I, I just feel that Chiropractic Rocks is right in line with that. And I think Dr. Del Toro's uh, vision is, is 100% on. Yeah, and I know that a lot of people know what I do because of Cairo Hustle, um, but One Chiropractic is something that was of a brainchild of yours and something that you've been a part of. And uh, neither one of us, if you guys are wondering, neither one of us are chiropractors. We're just banging the drum uh, for the profession because we do believe that people need more access to uh, right. the beautiful profession of chiropractic. And one of the, the leveraged words for me in 2019 is access. And uh, Chiropractic Rocks gives you access to high-level influencers. It gives you access to current information. It gives you access to people that are advocates that are doing the work. Um, so um, tell us a little bit about, about Chiropractic One, and then we'll go into um, you're, you're actually speaking at this uh, Chiropractic Rocks event. We'll talk a little bit about that as well. But tell us what Chiropractic One was formed, how you formed it, and why it exists. Yeah, it was really a brainchild of, of a number of us. I, I you know, it's okay. my role to operate it, but, you know, it wasn't my sole idea. Okay. Um, you know, my background, as you stated, I'm not a chiropractor. I have been in the industry for 23 years um, in various capacities. It started as a CA in a doctor's office and um, didn't really even know what chiropractic was. And through a series of events, I fell into head over heels in love with just the intellectual side of chiropractic. I didn't have a massive story myself. No one in my family or anyone I knew had a miraculous recovery because of chiropractic. It just made sense to me. As I started learning more about it, I started getting more and more frustrated with the lies that I had been told about health and, and how the medical world just jumps into things rather than looking at true causes. And so I just fell in love with chiropractic. I, I, I owned nine clinics in the state of Ohio. You don't have to be a DC to own. So I, I brought docs in and sold clinics and built clinics and did a number of those things. I started consulting for a number of years, really got good in the compliance and Medicare, CPT coding, all that kind of stuff. Just the business aspect of chiropractic became very, very easy to me. And I started sharing that knowledge, you know, with chiropractors all over the country. I've been in all 50 states um, working with doctors of chiropractic. Um, I de helped develop an EHR when that movement started going on. Um, and then I most recently was the executive director of the Ohio State Chiropractic Association. So I did that for six years. So I've really sat in just about every seat you can sit in in the profession with the exception of being the actual chiropractor um, and seeing all that stuff, working with national organizations, working on lobbying in Washington and developing projects through uh, organizations like COXA. I, I just... I kind of got disenfranchised, honestly, with the framework of the chiropractic profession and how it is that we're 124 plus years old, but yet the majority of the world still doesn't understand us. That that was a conundrum in my mind that just frustrated me that literally the, next to the gospel, I don't know a better story than the story of chiropractic. It's the most life-changing, power-giving, purpose-driven profession that exists, but yet there seems to be the ceiling that we can't ever seem to get outside of and it and I believe and, and a group of us believed a lot of that had to do with the framework in which our our profession operates with the whole doctors of chiropractic being full-time in practice but then going and serving in these associations and moving up through the chairs of president treasurer and secretary and it taking a majority vote to get anything done and it just was so old-fashioned and so sluggish and, and all intentions were great I mean these people are amazing people they're working hard but it just wasn't getting it done. We're not seeing more of the population and reimbursements going lower and lower and lower within insurances. And you know, all these issues that we can't seem to get out of. And one chiropractic was driven because we said we need a new model. And one of my best quotes that I've ever heard is Buckminster Fuller that says, you can't change an existing reality by fighting it. To change it, you need to create a new model that makes the old model obsolete. And so a group of us got together and said, you know what, we want to make a different model. We want to start connecting with chiropractors on a different level. Unlike, you know, being an association, where we're going to go and lobby or we're going to sue insurance companies. All that to me is like negative energy. It's not that it's not needed, but it's just not my call. My call is empowering people and loving people and telling the story of chiropractic and breaking down generational walls within insurance companies and employers and those types of things. So we created a nonprofit that said, if you believe the profession of chiropractic should remain focused on adjusting, should not include the prescription of drugs, 
then you should be a part of us because we're going to find new and exciting ways to go tell the story of chiropractic. And that's how we attracted Dr. Adam Del Toro. You know, he, he came in and said, dude, I'm 100 percent with your value. I love what you guys are about. And you're doing it in a different way. So we spend a ton of time going out to decision makers within the world and change their purview of chiropractic. So I've personally been in the meeting rooms with major insurance companies, majors, employers, changing their purview of where chiropractic fits in the plan designs from the insurance arena, as well as from the employer, how it fits with their employees. And we're breaking down those walls. And then hopefully, you know, over time, we're going to create more access as your keyword for the year is more access of chiropractic to these different people that maybe have never thought about it. And, and so it's, it's very exciting for us because we're doing it without the burden of high cost in our, our, we're an e-company, if you will, we have very little overhead. So those that contribute like 98% of what they're contributing is going to the cause. It's not going to the operational management, which is another issue within the framework of chiropractic. So, so anyway, that's, so there's a group of us. I mean, right now we're 200 and some strong, of people that are contributing. Um, I just got back this past weekend from a, a meeting with all of our, or not all of them, but a group of our contributors just sharing what we've been doing, where we're going to be going. And it's a just, it's a great place for people to come and not feel alone. And I don't know if you know this or not, Jim, but it's kind of a sad statistic within the profession of chiropractic. We have arguably 88,000 chiropractors that are licensed in the United States. Um, for national associations, we pretty much have two, the American Chiropractic Association and the International Chiropractic Association. But those two combined have less than 10% of our population, which is kind of sad. 90% of the chiropractic profession doesn't belong to a national organization. Talk about disenfranchised. And those are the people that we're after. Why is your head in a hole? Why are you not part of a community? And that's another reason why we love Chiropractic Rocks. It's a safe place for people to go and just love chiropractic. Going to this event doesn't mean you're loyal to one organization over the other. It just means you're coming to celebrate chiropractic, whatever chiropractic is to you. Come and celebrate it at an event like this where we have some harmony as a tribe and we're willing to come together and celebrate this unbelievable profession. So in a long nutshell, that's essentially what we're about and why we're so connected to this particular movement. You've made it to Cairo Hustle Live. Sit back and learn from the greatest influencers in the profession. This week's episode is brought to you by Clothes for Cairo, Legacy Wealth Management, Posture Screen, Imaging Services, Zingit Solutions, Peter Goldman's Zone School of Healing, Everest Coaching Systems, ChiroThin, Universal Tractioning Systems, Chiropractic Jobs Online, Rhino Coaching, Cairo Matchmakers, True Cairo, and the Social Health Experts Summit. Let's hustle. Yeah, I couldn't have said it much better myself. And uh, thank you for doing everything that you're a part of. I think that you standing in a position and helping uh, gives a lot of legitimacy to the profession for um, having an outside source saying, hey, um, I've been in this game for a long time and I want to see the profession go in this direction because I do know that it is the best kept secret. And, uh, you know, when it comes to keeping healthy communities and healthy families and, you know, those old like, you know, chiropractic posters from like the 1980s, they said it back then, too. Right. Um, <laughs> you know, let's make healthy families, let's make yeah. healthy communities. But it wasn't as popular back then because right. more people were healthy. Right. And I think right now we're at like a critical situation where less people are healthy and more people now are looking for access. They're cool. saying, hey, what I've been doing since, you know, I've been alive for 40 years, um, it's really not what I had a vision for, for my health or for my family's health. But I don't know what chiropractic really is. Most of the people tell me stuff about chiropractic is the you know i used to call it this uh cousins neighbors brothers uh clause <laughs> is most people are misinformed about what a chiropractor yeah. really does Absolutely. and they allow it they allow the grapevine conversation or the the google search conversation be their premise on their education for what a chiropractic is or chiropractic isn't and the only way to really get to that point is to have the chiropractors like you said have more um uh togetherness more uh more pull with a louder voice together rather than being disenfranchised and disconnected. And I do think that it's highly important for people to have fellowship within decision making. And when people don't have fellowship and decision making, um, the the unity of uh, the, the truth and the message is not strong. Correct. Yeah, you're so, always 
Yeah, if you're not going to buy into what someone else said, you're just going to shut down and go away. But when you have discussion around that, and I feel like I have some ownership in whatever we decided, then I, I'm going to start carrying that energy and that message forward. Completely agree with you. Yeah, so what we're doing is really we're, we're meeting out in Reno, Nevada, uh, March 28th through 30th, and we're going to be there at Chiropractic Rocks. Um, I'm going to flash the uh, website again. It's chiropracticrocks.us. If you guys want to come out there and be a part of what Dr. Uh, Baron and I are doing, um, I will show you the web address right there, Chiropractic dot rocks dot us uh please come out and join us um you're going to be speaking there too man i'm going to be speaking there uh you guys are going to get a chance to meet two on fire advocates there nonetheless and they have a you know a highlight reel um speaking lineup so yeah. i know that everybody there is going to walk away with uh you know a notebook full of uh, content or you're going to have like 25 downloads that you're going to record while people are up there uh, on stage. But um, are you excited to be speaking there this year? Dude, I love it, man. You know, I love speaking any opportunity I can, but it's nice when you go to an event like this where I'm so in tune with the overall purpose. A lot of times I'm speaking at state association conventions or I'm speaking at, you know, a particular uh, a vendor that's putting on an event. So you're somewhat in this box of what you're supposed to be talking about, you know, in the do's and don'ts of that particular arena. But man, coming to something like this, I get even more stoked because, you know, like attracts like. And I know we're going to be having an audience full of people that are, you know, really in love with chiropractic and wanting to just get deeper into that. And so I always get jazzed by doing that. And honestly, what I'm talking about at this particular event is, you know, I, I, I am not a person that allows things in my life that rob my joy. I just have learned very early on that if I want to be at my high frequency all the time, I got to have high frequency things around me. Um, otherwise, I'm wasting all my energy trying to pull everybody up with me. It just doesn't work. And so I, I am so excited to go and explain to people how the monotony of business, things like HIPAA compliance and documentation and coding, they're realities. I get it. But we're spending way too much energy and time on those and not near enough on the story. And so I'm teaching people at this event, how do you stay compliant with those things, but not lose your purpose and your energy for telling the story of chiropractic? Because at the end of the day, what we need to be spending time on is the story, not how to get paid for doing it. Money is a side effect of generating value. And the only way you create value is by telling the story. And so, it, you know, people get lost in the do's and don'ts of regulatory rules. And I, I got to break them out of that. So that's that's what I'm going to be bringing to the to the stage in that event is how do you fall back in love with the story and remain compliant in the process? So it's going to be a great time. Absolutely love it. Uh, one of the things that I think is super important is chiropractors getting outside the four walls of chiropractic and getting the message out there. And I know that's why uh, Dr. Adam asked me to host some of these uh Facebook live interviews for the Chiropractic Rocks event because we have allowed chiropractic to get outside the four walls of chiropractic with our message. And it's been really cool to see all that happen. And I just want to uh, call to action everybody out there that, hey, you guys are all your own media companies. You guys have the technology to create right here in the palm of your hand. Um, you guys have never been more connected right now than ever before. Um, one of the questions I like to throw a curveball at people dur during the Cairo Hustle interviews is, what's the most important thing to happen in chiropractic in the past decade? And I think, you know, a lot of times people are trying to look for something deep, but really it's right here. This is the most important thing to happen to chiropractic in the past decade. That's why we're able to share this message with the masses right now. That's why when people are on here, um, they're going to get value from this because they didn't have access to us before, man. They didn't have access to people that were willing to uh, expose themselves at a grand scale and say, you know what? I'm happy to discuss this topic. This is something that fires me up and more people need to know about it. And if we create something on a platform that exists and we make it unique and we deliver something of value to people. Now right. we're going to turn people into followers, which is the yeah. real thing. Go over to chiropracticrocks.us and register to come out to Reno, Nevada, March 28th through 30th and join all of us there. But I think that the more that people realize that how well connected we actually are, um, we just need to use the resources that we have access to. And that's going to be able to get us into more zones of influence. And I think right now, chiropractic is probably 
they have said it for the past 50 years. As you know, there's never been a greater time to be a chiropractor. Well, there's never been a better time to get adjusted than That's like true. now. Right. <laughs> right, right, right. Totally agree. Totally agree. You know, it's funny you were saying that, you know, as you were talking about that, I was just thinking that, you know, if you look at any other line of business right now, whatever it is, you know, I'm a, I'm a huge Shark Tank guy. I love watching Shark Tank. I'm entrepreneurial by nature. So I love looking at how people create an idea and turn it into a business. You know, but you look at all these people and one of the first question is, how did you generate your initial funding for your business? And it's coming from Kickstarter or GoFundMe. And I don't think people understand in today's world, you want, you have people that want to be connected to a purpose bigger than themselves. They, they want to. They're not standing out there on the sign saying, hey, I'm looking for a, a cause to start loving. But we are genuinely and we can see that through the behavior. And when you look at why people are doing the GoFundMes and they're doing the Kickstarters is they're trying to connect with people that have a similar value system that they have. Well, why would we not take advantage of that? I mean, chiropractic patients are the most loyal people on the planet. They will go to fists to defend their chiropractors and to defend why their children aren't getting vaccinated or defend why their kids, you know, don't take antibiotics because they're proud of the fact of what they do. That There's not many things that people are willing to go to blows over, but our patients love it. But yet we still fail to motivate them to go tell their story. And, and you're hundred percent right. Things like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, your face, all that stuff is an amazing resource to get out and tell the story. And that's why things like chiropractic rocks are so important to remind you of that. And if you don't start surrounding yourself with people that are like you want to be, then you're never going to get outside of that box that you put yourself in daily. And coming to an event like this and surrounding yourself with the, the large list of speakers, and you're right, it's it's a who's who of chiropractic that he's done a great job of, of you know building his panel of people that are speaking. But why wouldn't you want to go spend time there, right? Why wouldn't you want to go out, spend a little extra money to fly to Reno? Yeah, it's not your state association. You can't drive to it. Or you could and have a fun trip. Who cares? But just get there. Get out of your comfort zone. Get into something that challenges you. Surround yourself with a higher level of consciousness and watch what happens when you take that same energy, go back to your practice and create that consciousness with your tribe. You know, I just don't I don't buy why chiropractors aren't successful. It makes zero sense to me. It's the easiest product on the planet to sell if you're in love with it. And it's time to get back in love with it. And that's why chiropractic rocks. And I think this is gonna be a great event. Dude, you you, you lay it out there for people so easy to understand. And it is we're, we're in a similar uh, flow state of uh, agreeance because I do know that uh, we're both going to go there and it's going to open up more doors for us. And I tell people this all the time, when you go to an event like this, it could be that 1% of something that's holding you back, that going to something like this, you get connected with that one person or that one handshake or that one business card that you traded, or it's that one line that you got off of stage that's going to transform the next part of your life. Thank you for listening to Cairo Hustle Live. Don't forget to subscribe and check back next week to continue hustling.